If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question on your own before listening on. We know that the work required to set up the arrangement of charges shown in the picture is equal to the change in electrical potential energy, which we can write as the final electrical potential energy minus the initial electrical potential energy. Because the charges initially are infinitely far apart, that means that their initial electrical potential energy is actually zero joules, so we can eliminate this term from the equation. Thus, in order to calculate the work, all we need to do is figure out the final electrical potential energy of this arrangement. We know that the electrical potential energy between two-point charges is given by this formula, but of course this arrangement shows four-point charges, so it might not be obvious how to work with this formula. What we can do is imagine that initially none of these charges are present. So we can empty the space here. Now, what we can do is bring in the first charge. Maybe we can bring in the one that was in the upper left-hand corner. So we'll just draw a charge there. The work required to move that charge in is actually zero because there were no other charges present. We then move in the next charge. So maybe we can bring in this one. Now notice that we're going to have to calculate the electrical potential energy between these two charges. So perhaps we can call that U1. We next bring in the third charge and we would have to calculate the electrical potential energy between those two charges, which we could call U2, and those two charges, which we could call U3. Finally, we bring in the fourth charge. Maybe I'll change colors here. So we would have to calculate the electrical potential energy between those two charges, those two charges, and finally, these two charges. So actually we have to use this expression for the electrical potential energy six times. We can remind ourselves that here we had a positive charge, this was negative, this was positive, and this was negative. So for U1, we can plug into the formula, we'll have a positive charge and a negative charge, and when we multiply that positive times that negative, it will overall come out to be a negative electrical potential energy. Here's our expression for U1. Notice that the distance between the charges was symbolized by A, as that was the distance represented in the diagram. For U2, we're going to have to find this diagonal distance right here. And because this is a square, we should know that the diagonal distance would be A radical 2. So let's set up our expression for U2. We're multiplying a positive by a positive, so it should come out positive overall. We're going to continue in this manner. We're going to set up expressions for U3 through U6. When you do so, just be mindful of whether it's a positive charge and a negative charge, or whether it's a negative and a negative, etc. Also be mindful of your distances. So we'll go ahead up and set up the rest of the expressions here. So there they all are. To get the overall electrical potential energy, we simply need to sum these together. Remember that energy is a scalar quantity, so we don't have to worry about components. All we need to do is add all six of these together algebraically. It's a bit of a lengthy equation, but maybe what we could do if we look carefully is factor out a common factor. Now each term has a kq squared as well as an a, so let's factor that out. We could then combine the negative ones as well as the one over root twos. And at this point, all we need to do is plug in the known values. We know that k is a constant. Q is given to us in picocoulomb, so we'll have to multiply it by 10 to the minus 12 to convert it into coulombs. And then A is given to us as well. We'll have to multiply that by 10 to the minus 2 to convert to meters. And when you plug all that into your calculator, you should get a value of approximately negative 1.92 times 10 to the negative 13 joules. So that would be the work required to set up that arrangement of charges. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I'll do my best to post a solution on YouTube.